All right, guys, are we all set? Welcome everyone to Fuel Up with Team Battle Chef. We are back for the fall. I hope you all are ready for today. I'm super excited. So if anyone's cooking today, if anyone's in the Zoom, please change your name now, which I see most of you have, to your name and maybe where you're from so I can know. So I see we have Sasha joining, Jojo and Lainey. We have Max, of course, and the Mary Mitchell kids. All right, super exciting. All right, so today I'm, well, first of all, let me back up. My name is Chef Anastasia. I know some of you have never met me before. Um, chef uh, Chefany used to be your pro chef. I am now taking over for her. So my name is Chef Anastasia, and I'm super duper excited today to show you a simple, yummy snack that you can make after school or anytime really called banana sushi. So what's banana sushi? Are we eating banana and fish? No, of course. It's actually a banana that we cover with the yummy, yummy toppings. And when we cut it up, it looks like sushi. So I'm also super lucky this week because joining me and cooking along with me and you guys is my Team Battle Chef Ambassador, Sasha. Hi, Sasha, introduce yourself. Hi, guys. My name is Sasha. I am 19 years old, and I'm from the Bronx in New York City. I recently graduated from high school, so I am in college studying nursing. Ooh, very cool. So Sasha, before we get started, why don't you share our food hygiene and our rules to keep everything safe in the kitchen? OK. So for food hygiene, we want to make sure, first and foremost, that our hands are always clean. So wash your hands before you start to start. And next time, I want you guys to sing happy birthday twice so that you have washed your hands for the perfect amount of time to make sure everything is clean. Make sure that your hair is always tied back. If you have longer hair and if you have longer sleeves, roll your sleeves up so your sleeves don't get in your food. Now for safety, we always wanna make sure if we're using a knife that when you're walking behind someone, you let them know. So we like to say behind or knife behind and holding a knife, you wanna make sure that you know how to hold a knife properly. But if, you do, if you're too young to hold a knife, because I know we have a lot of little kids here today, make sure that you have an adult or someone that's older to help you with your knives. And of course, always to have fun in the kitchen. Perfect, you're a pro. Thank you so much for that. So also before we get to the fun stuff, every week we will actually be showing a guest chef to cook with us, to be on the spotlight with us. And who do we think that guest chef might be? Hmm, they're actually you guys and girls. So Erin, why don't we choose today's guest chef? So anyone cooking along with us, please make it known now. Max, you're cooking, right? Jojo and Lainey, you guys are cooking as well? Yep. yep. All right, perfect. Is, is Brianna cooking or is that another teacher? Oh, we have somebody else joining. All right. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and choose our guest chef for today. Erin, can you pull up our organizer? Erin, can you pull up our All right, who's ready? All right, let's see who's in the spotlight with Sasha and I. Dun, dun, dun. Jojo and Lady, congratulations. So you are our guest chefs for this week. All right, so why don't you put a spotlight on Jojo and Lainey as well as me and Sasha. All right, perfect. Okay, great. So like we said, we're making banana sushi, right? And bananas are easily accessible at, you know, almost every deli, grocery store, corner fruit stand. So this is a super simple and convenient snack. How about you, Sasha? Do you always have bananas on hand? Always, every day, there's always something. Every week we get bananas in my house. Good, awesome. So 
banana sushi, like I said, it's not, you know, your typical sushi with rice, but do you know where the, what the word sushi means, Sasha? I do not, but I found out yesterday that sushi is anything wrapped in rice and seaweed. So like, so like, I don't know if you guys know, but a California roll, how you see how it has the green and then the white is the rice, anything, and then you put something in between, that's sushi. Exactly. So as you've seen before, and they're cut into little circles, so that's what our banana sushi is going to resemble. That's all spot on. Has anyone cooking along or watching, uh, have you all ever had a sushi roll before? A regular sushi roll, not banana sushi. You can drop it in the chat. You can say it out loud. And maybe what was in your sushi if you had it? <laughs> Jojo and Lenny, you never had sushi? Not yet? Max, have you ever had sushi? I had the uh, <laughs> All right, that's still sushi in my book. So that sounds good. All right. So like I said, we're not using raw fish. We're using just some fresh bananas in today's sushi and some yummy toppings. So why don't we go over <laughs> what we need for our class today? Let's take them to the chef zone to show our mise en place. And please, if everyone's cooking along, I want to see your ingredients too. So, of course, we have our banana. And you probably want a banana that's not too ripe, not green, in, like anyway. So, it's, you know, something a little yellow. If it's a little brown, it's okay. You see your bananas, awesome, Jojo and Lady. We have a little bit of yogurt that we'll be topping our bananas with. I see your yogurt, awesome. I love chocolate, so I'm putting a little cocoa powder on mine, but you can put cinnamon if you want, or you can put another flavoring. And I love a crunchy topping on my um, sushi. So I have granola here and some almond. Ooh, birthday cake. Is that birthday cake granola and chocolate chips? Oh, that sounds amazing. And then I'm gonna sweeten mine with a little bit of honey. What about you, Sasha? What are you putting on yours? For mine, I wanted to do a little play on like a strawberry and banana smoothie. So I didn't want to just put strawberry and banana because I felt like that was kind of boring. Mm -hmm. So instead, I have my banana, of course, my strawberry yogurt instead of regular cut up strawberries. It's yogurt with the strawberries in it. For my topping, I have blueberry to add a little bit of a difference. Mm. And for my crunch factor, I have some pecans here that I just smashed up. So Ooh. they're not too big on my sushi. That's a great idea. I love it all. Who else is cooking along? Let me see everyone's ingredients. I would love for you guys to show me. You can hold up your ingredients to your camera or tilt your camera down to your ingredients. All right, looking good, guys. How about Max? Max, are you ready to give your ingredients? Great, all right. So before we get to the cooking, I promise we're gonna get there very soon. Uh, how about, I wanna test your knowledge. So we've had bananas, some of us have had sushi, but how much do we know about these ingredients? So to find out, I wanna play a little game. So how about Helena, can you pull up our game? So whoever can join us on this game, we have a little fun game to play, it's a little bit of trivia. So to join the game, it's called Kahoot. If you can, can you open up in maybe Safari or internet and go to kahoot.it, so www.kahoot, K-A-H, O O T dot I T. Is anybody playing along? You think? Can anyone do that? Max said yes. Awesome, Max. You are quick. Anybody There's else playing? Abdur and Essie. All right. Abdur. <laughs> hi, Abdur. And hi, Essie. And the Yellis. So if anybody's playing along, Ooh, we got oh, Shabana. there's Max. You would just go to that website, kahoot.it. I am. Woohoo! So 
I'll give you all a minute or two to join, and then once you're there, I'm gonna test I'm you. Coming. All right. You're gonna just enter that game pin seven three six seven eight nine three. Ah, Nyalis came. This is gonna be competitive. I feel it. Who's ready to play cahoots? All right. Does anyone else need a minute to join? Hmm. Do we only have Nayelis and Chef Max for the game? Uh, Mr. Curtis says he's got two more people coming. All right. Awesome. Ah, uh, Mary Mitchell is there. Good. All right, guys. I see some people joining. We're gonna have some fun with this game, test your knowledge. Great you joined, Essie. Hello, Rebecca. And there's somebody with a number as their name. If you wanna change your name to your actual name so we know who you are and maybe where you're from, you can do that. And if anyone's cooking along, just a reminder that you can share your screen with us, share your, uh, you know, make yourself seen so we can see you and your lovely ingredients and your banana sushi. Oh, John. And, oh, we have some I've more made it. <laughs> Does anyone else need a minute to join the game? Oh, Amina. Amina. Yeah. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. I think that might be a good group now. All right, you guys, so we're gonna start. And whoever didn't join, you could just answer the questions oh, good. No, on sorry. your own. We're gonna share the questions on the screen. Eight players. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. yeah. All right, so let's start. All righty, guys. Kahoot. Banana sushi edition. Three, two, one. All right, ready for a quiz? Where do you think sushi originally comes from? Is it Japan? Is it China? Is it Sweden or the Bahamas? Hmm, so people got it right. It's actually China. So Although we think it came from Japan, sushi is actually from China, and it originated there from about 5th to the 3rd century BC, but it's super popular in Japanese restaurants, so that's why a lot of us think it's from Japan, but it's actually from China. Fun fact. All right, next question. So far on the leaderboard is Max. So yogurt contains a lot of calcium, but what is calcium good for? Is it good for activating your muscles, for your bones? Is calcium the only thing our brains need? Or is calcium help? Oh, you guys are quick. So five of you got it right. But the trick is actually there's two correct answers. So if you chose either one of those two, you are correct. Look at that. So everyone wins. All right, Chef Max is still in the lead. All right, true or false? Yogurt is fermented milk. Is that true or false? It's working really well. Hmm. The pictures you chose. Dun, dun, dun. So it's actually true. Good job, guys. They all got it right. Yeah, good job, everyone. Uh, so yogurt is basically milk that has been fermented. And fermentation is basically a long story short, a process that good bacteria eats up the carbohydrates in the milk and makes sugar. 
It's a very sciencey thing, but it's fermented milk, and that's all you have to know. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh oh, somebody passed Max by one point. Sorry, even in your school. What happens if you put a banana in the fridge to the refrigerator? Will it turn brown or black but won't affect the fruit inside? Nothing will happen other than cooling it. The fruit inside will ripen faster, or the peel will turn greener on the fruit, and the fruit inside will stop to ripening. Hmm. Let's see, what do we think? So actually, yeah, if you put a banana in the fridge, the outside will turn really black, but the inside stays perfectly fine. So it looks super spoiled, but it's not. Oh, Chef Max is back in the lead. <laughs> I think that's it. And last question, bananas are low in calories and have no fat, sodium, or cholesterol, and they contain potassium, fiber, vitamin C, and vitamin B6. Is that true or false? What do we think? Hmm. What do we think? For whoever's asking, the Kahoot pin is at the bottom of the game let's see what was it this is the last question so i don't know if there's time to join but join next week for more fun all right so seven of you said true and one said false it's true banana has all those things those vitamins potassium fiber and is low in calories and has no fat sodium or cholesterol so it's super super healthy for us and that's why we're choosing it today for our banana sushi all right, so let's see the results. Third place, second place is Essie. That's cute. And then first place, our winner, drum roll please, is Chef Max. Congratulations, Chef Max. <laughs> You're a banana genius. <laughs> All right, guys. Good Thank job. you for playing along. That was super fun. And now on to the good stuff. So Sasha, are you ready to battle it out? Yes, I'm very so excited. Really, are you ready to be our guest chefs? And is everyone else ready for banana sushi? I think we're all ready. So what do you say we get started? So let's take <laughs> it back down to the chef zone. All right. So we have our banana, of course. And of course, we have to peel it first to get all the yummy toppings on top. And peeling banana is pretty self-explanatory. So we're just gonna take this peel off gently. If your banana is super ripe, you wanna do it carefully so it doesn't break. Like mine's a little ripe. So I'm going to carefully peel it. Carefully, even if it breaks, it's fine. It's all gonna taste the same to me. And I have a garbage bowl on the side that I put my peel in so I don't have to run to the garbage can. How's everyone else doing so far? Everybody has a banana ready to go? All right, perfect. So on my banana, and I'm sure many of you guys too, I have some yogurt. I have Greek yogurt that I'm gonna put on my banana and that's gonna act like the glue for our crunchy topping. So what you wanna do is just take your yogurt and maybe a butter knife or a spreader and just <laughs> Spread your yogurt. And I only have about two to three tablespoons of yogurt here. If someone was, let's say, allergic to dairy, then you can use peanut butter or almond butter, but I think yogurt is the best because it has a lot of protein, a lot of calcium. So I like using some tangy yogurt. How are you doing, Sasha? How's your strawberry yogurt? <laughs> Pretty good. Good. So I want to cover most of my banana. Just like that. I think we're looking good. How's everyone else looking? I think we're looking good. All right. I'll wait a second for Sasha to cover her banana. Oh, I think you cut yours in half. So are you showing two different methods or? Yeah, I cut mine in half nice. so that it's a little bit Spring easier for me. Ahead. 
to preschool maneuver. Like a awesome. So whichever way it's works best for you guys, if you want to cut it in half, if you want to cut it in pieces. But I left mine whole you can do the same, or you can cut it in half right just like that. Right sure so next up, needed, like I said, I have cocoa powder. Herself. She could make everything. So, she showed her food. She so with the cocoa powder, what I'm going to do, or if you have cinnamon, you can use cinnamon or you don't need the cocoa powder if you don't want it. I like extra chocolate. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of cocoa powder on top. Just like that. I love chocolate. And you're going to learn week after week. I love chocolate. I love anything sweet. <laughs> so I have my cocoa powder on top of my yogurt. Oh, you have Hershey's cocoa, the good stuff. <laughs> all right next we have our crunchy toppings right so i have of course chocolate granola and i know jojo and laney have birthday cake granola what do you have sasha remind me i have pecans mm, and those are full of healthy fats right yep so we said bananas are good for what potassium right and what does potassium do you know Potassium gives you um, a good, it's a good source of energy. So if you ever heard like a teacher or your parents say eat a banana in the morning and so you're awake when you're in school. Exactly. So yeah, so that's actually true. So bananas are a good source of energy because they have carbohydrates. Potassium is also good for your muscles. So muscle contractions, you need potassium. So I put a little bit of chocolate granola on there. Max, how are you doing? What are you putting on yours, Max? I'm putting um, peanut butter and mm. a little bit of yogurt, um, strawberry, chocolate syrup, and pistachios. Wow, that's it. That's Ooh. a and mm -hmm. fresh, yeah, fresh So yeah, I'm gonna also press my granola into the yogurt so it sticks. I'm looking a little messy, but it's gonna taste good. So Nayelis, what are you putting on your banana sushi? Um, I'm putting some of this like honey graham crackers. Hmm. That's a good crunchy mm. topping. What school are you from, Nayelis? I mean, no, middle school. It has middle school. I didn't hear you. Can you repeat that? Middle school. Can you write it in the chat? The service is a little choppy. I'm from Poison Middle School. Whoa, you guys. That already looks amazing, Jojo and Lainey. Is anybody else cooking besides Max, Jojo and Lainey, Nayelis? Essie, are you cooking as well? Let's see. I want to see your banana sushi. Ooh, that looks yummy. All right. Does anyone need more time to top their bananas? I can give you a minute and then we can go on to cutting. Let's see. All right, Mary Mitchell kids, how are we doing? Are we having fun? All right. Having fun. fun. Yeah. Ooh. It's one big yes from Mary Mitchell. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to show you guys the next step. Or Sasha, do you want to show them the next step? Sure. OK, so next we're going to take our knife. Make sure you're holding your knife. What? Alyssa, With your thumb, press against one end of, well, not one end, one side of the knife and your index on the other. So you have a, a sturdy base to mm -hmm. work from. And then just cut straight down. And how big should we cut the pieces? You know? Maybe like an inch, right? Yeah, I was going to say about an inch, inch and a half, maybe if you want it bigger. Yeah, so yeah, you guys, if you want big bites of sushi, 
cut them a little wider. If you want tiny bites, cut them a little thinner. Ta-da! So it looks like a mess on the cutting board. So I'm gonna transfer to my plate. So I'm gonna put my knife away. And let's see if I can smoothly transfer my banana sushi to my plate. Oh, wow, that looks good, Sasha. Thank George you. and Lainey, how are we doing? Good. All right. I'm going to put just a few pieces on my plate. It's a little messy. Wow. Hey, Jojo and Lainey's looks great. Yum. They have different things they're putting on top. So Sasha's my... looks really good too. All right, I think I'm gonna stop right there. My plate's a little small. All right, you guys. And I like mine with a little sweetness. So I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of honey on top. Only about maybe a teaspoon or so. You can use agave, maple syrup. A little bit of melted chocolate or chocolate syrup. But Sasha, like is that more yogurt you're putting? Yeah, I like to, like Anastasia said before, I like to put a little bit more yogurt for a glue for my topping because mm -hmm. I'm not going to cut all my blueberries unless they're kind of big, but just put like a blueberry on top so that it doesn't move, it doesn't go anywhere, and it's easier for me to eat in one bite. Ah, it's like a little garnish. That's cute. So yeah, guys, you could totally put whatever toppings you like on your banana sushi. Maybe if you put some granola this time, add some nuts next time. Or if you put maybe some blueberries this time, Sasha. What kind of fruit do you want to add next time, you think? I was thinking maybe raspberries. Ooh, yummy. How about Jojo and Lainey? Would you want to add any fruit on top of your banana? I know there's a fruit already, but the more <laughs> the area, right? <laughs> How's everyone else doing? Abdur, let's see it. Wow, Abdur. That looks good. Nayelis, that looks amazing. All right. Essie, wow, look at your banana sushi. Wow. Can we that stop is Essie again? Wow, look at that plate. I love the graham, little, little graham crunch crackers. Oh my. Oh, these are so cute. You're all making me very hungry. I like how Lainey and Jojo arranged their uh, plates. So yeah, that's also a fun part of cooking is plating your food. I think Sasha and mine looks like a little flower. Lainey and Jojo did a smiley face. And I love that Essie has just a fully loaded banana sushi. She did not hold back. That definitely looks more like a sushi. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, is anyone finishing up? Max, let me see yours. Let's see, I didn't even see. Wow, Max, that looks like dessert to me. Oh, Max, wow. it looks so nice. I put honey on top of my nice. uh, oh, And I see Essie is putting a little honey on hers too. Abdur's looks good. <clears throat> wow, Abdur. Mr. Curtis's group, maybe they can put it close to the camera. I can see they're doing something. You guys are doing a good job, wow. Yeah, does anyone from Mr. Curtis's group wanna put theirs close to the camera so we can see? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. All right. So guys. I see Matthew joined us again, but maybe he's not cooking. He's only watching. I don't know. Hi, Matthew. Who's Matthew? Are you cooking along? I know it's a little late in the show. <laughs> Is anyone else cooking along that does not have their camera on? Nope. All right, guys. Does anyone else need a minute to finish up or should we? Should we see who won? 
<clears throat> I think it's <clears throat> time to see who won the battle. All right, guys. So everybody show your food so they can vote. Let's show our plates up to the camera and everyone has to take a look. Ready, guys? Everyone show your Essie. Where's Essie, your show plate? yours because we're going to vote. There you go. Hold it up. You got to see everything. Yeah. Wow. Abdur, where's your sushi? Maybe he ate it. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, this one we're seeing. They put theirs in a taco. That's cool. Wow. So just bananas. All right. Taco. Hold it up. Hold it up. Everyone's going to look. Hold All right, up. guys. Everyone look. So take a look. There's me, Chef Anastasia, Jojo and Lainey, Sasha with the blueberries. Essie had a good loaded one. Nayelis. Oh, that looks really good, Nayelis. Max with his chocolate syrup. Oh, there we go. I see. Thank you. Ooh. And then we have Mr. Curtis's group with their tacos. They're also tacos. <laughs> All right, guys. So who do we think won? Let's pull up our poll. It's time to vote. So I want you guys to vote. Who won the battle? Who has the best sushi? The best <laughs> banana sushi? I'll give you guys some time. Dun, dun, dun. I think we all win because we all get to eat this. If you ask me, that's winning. All right, we have three more people that need to answer. Mm -hmm. Whoever didn't answer, you have a good 10 seconds, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and a half, one. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's looking like dun dun dun. Max is our winner. Good job, Max. Jojo and Laney in second place. Oh, second. Wow, you guys all did amazing though. I don't know which one I would want to choose. I want you know, a sushi taco one day, then I want Max's the next day, and then I want my fully loaded one, like Essie. Uh, you guys all did amazing. Good job, guys. All righty. So the fun doesn't stop here, right? Join us next week, of course, but before you do that, I want you guys to take a photo, share with your friends. If you have an Instagram or your school has an Instagram, you can post this and tag us at Family Cook NYC. You could also tag American Dairy NE, that's the American Dairy Council, and use the hashtag FuelUpTBC so we can sh see your banana sushi. Also as a bonus, you can follow us on Instagram. I'm at Family Cook NYC, and then Sasha is at underscore O dot Sasha underscore. Ooh, so what's coming up next week? Of course, we're gonna have more fun. The slide is cut off in my view, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but next week, the same time, same place, same link, we are making breakfast fruit tarts. That sounds amazing. So I hope you guys can all make it. I had so much fun with all of you, and thank you all for cooking along with me. Yay! And, and thanks to our you. guest chef, Lainey And thank you to our guest chef. You did an amazing job. Uh, I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you, everyone. And thanks to Sasha. Thank you, Thank Sasha. you. Thank you, everyone. As Thank Martin, you. Morning, Nayelis. Thank you, Mr. Thank Curtis's you. crew. And Mary Mitchell kids and Abdur. Thank you, everyone. And whoever didn't cook this week, cook along with us next week. All righty. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye, guys.